Let's say we have a mobile app which is dependent on a server. The mobile app requesting data is called the consumer. The server which responds with data is called the provider. Using an API-first approach, the consumer and provider will agree on the contract between them and capture that in an open API, async API, GraphQL, gRPC or WSDL specification. All such specifications will be stored in a central Git repo, our single source of truth. To update a spec, we go through a pull request process. Step 1. We do linting to make sure that the specifications are as per the standards. Step 2. We do a compatibility test to make sure we are not accidentally breaking backward compatibility. Step 3. We review and merge the updated spec in the repo. This will ensure the central contract repo always stays up to date. Now when the consumers start their development, they would use Specmatic to mock or stub out the provider using the spec in the central contract repo. Specmatic provides no-code service virtualization by leveraging API specifications. This will allow the consumer to develop and test their code locally without waiting for the provider service. Similarly, the providers would refer to the exact same specs from the central contract repo and use Specmatic to generate contract tests for their service. This will validate if their implementation adheres to the spec or not. The same thing can be leveraged in the CI. They will refer to the specs from the central contract repo, which is the single source of truth for both sides. This guarantees that the provider and consumers can both independently develop and test their respective code while still being completely in sync. And when they come to an integration environment, they won't see any surprises. Hence, they can get to production as quickly as possible. In a nutshell, this is contract-driven development powered by Specmatic.